Some people don't know about bulls beyond the take the bull by the horns quote. If you have ever been chased by one or if you have lived in an area where bullfighting is legal, you sure don't fall into that category. Bulls are male cattle. That everyone knows. How about we tell you something new? From the March of Gianna bull to the Brahma, here's an interesting list of the 20 biggest bulls in the world. Number 20. Marcha Gianna Bull People keep bulls for various reasons. People keep Marcha Gianna Bulls for their high slaughter yield, being a precocious breed. They reach ideal slaughter weight at about 15 to 16 months of age. If you love to eat beef, a Marcia Gianna Bull might be closer to you than you know. Anyways, these short hair bovine species called Marcia Gianna because they're native to Italy, specifically from the Marcia region, in terms of conformation, these cattle breed has a cylindrical trunk with a better muscular growth in the buttocks and thighs. They are large, have a fine bone structure, and weigh as heavy as 2,000 to 2,400 pounds. Their female counterparts weigh a little lesser, approximately 1,300 pounds to 1,500 pounds. How can you tell which out of the stock is a Marsh Diana breed? Look out for the skin tone of light gray to almost white, black tongues and muzzles, as well as dark skin around the eyes and tail. Marsha Gianna bulls also have horns that are medium-sized, yellow at the base, and white and black at the tips. In the USA, though, they are selectively bred pulled, so you wouldn't find any horns. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for this strange topic. There are massive bulls, and there's this one we just find out about. The picture must have been taken by someone who was as surprised as we are to see a bull as large as this. If it wasn't white-skinned, you could mistake that rear for an elephant's. The camera clicked a bit late though, because what does a long switch of white tail, medium hump on the sheath, and unevenly distributed patches of brown and black leave us with when the head is gone? Anyways, I don't see how this man could manage with this much pound of flesh and bone in his truck. The bull even looks too oversized for the space. What breed could this be? What do you think? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag strange topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on the screen. And now to the next topic. Number 19. Brahmin. Originating from South Asia, Brahmins are a beef breed that falls somewhere in the middle in terms of size. They are one of the several breeds of Indian cattle referred to as Bos Indicus. Like every one of that kind, Brahmins have a large, fatty hump over their neck and shoulder. This breed of domestic cattle is also characterized by their drooping ears and horns that slant upwards, occasionally tilting to the back. The majority of cattle in this breed are light to medium gray. Generally though, the skin color of Brahmins ranges from extremely light gray or red to almost black. The bulls stand out as they are often somewhat darker than the cows, with dark spots on their shoulders, lower thighs, and neck. Brahmins have a couple of biological adaptations that enable them to comfortably graze in the midday sun. First, their dark pigmented skin and short, thick, shiny hair reflect much of the sun's rays. Then, they have a lot of loose skin, which supposedly helps them tolerate hot conditions by increasing the amount of body surface area exposed to cooling. In addition, Brahmins feature numerous sweat glands, which assist them to sweat freely. The sun has nothing on Brahmins, and neither do insects. An oily secretion from their sebaceous gland produces an insect repellent odor. Brahmins sure came from prepared for the wild. Number 18. Belgian Blue the Belgian Blue is not exactly a blue-skinned breed of bull native to Belgium. Well, just as the name suggests, they do come from Belgium. The Blue refers, though not to their skin tone, but their blue-gray blotched hair. The actual color of its skin ranges from white to black. With reference to this breed's rounded outline in the Netherlands, it is called Dickbill, which literally means fat buttocks. The Belgian Blue is a large-sized breed weighing up to 1100 and 1250 kilograms. The cows are much smaller and might often reach a weight of 850 to 900 kilograms, other than the blue roan in some. Another remarkable thing about the Belgian blue is its extremely muscled rump, back, shoulder, and loin. The extreme muscles are not there at birth, but the calves start developing them four to six weeks after. 
This is due to a natural mutation in the breed that favors hyperplasia over hypertrophy. Hypertrophy causes increased size of individual muscle fibers, whereas hyperplasia results in an increased number of muscle fibers. Okay, what this means is that the blue Belgian is literally double muscled, a development that increases its ability to convert feed into a lean muscle. Beef from this breed of cattle has less tenderness and lower fat content. The blue Belgian is slowly gaining acceptance as a beef cattle. Number 17. Indonesian Zimental. The Zimental owes its name to the first place it was bred in the Zimin Valley, which is located in Berner Oberland, Switzerland. In places other than Switzerland, the breed is known as Pai Rouge. You can recognize it by its heavy dewlap, that is, a fold of skin under its neck. Also, there is often a white band over the shoulders. Some of them have horns while some are pulled. Their skin color ranges from gold to red, and they have a white head. These colors are usually clearly defined patches on a white background. The American Zimmental, though, looks different as they are predominantly black or red. Around the eyes, most Zimmentals feature a pigment that is thought to protect their eyesight from the effect of bright sunlight. Generally, the Simmental is one of the largest breeds in the world and is originally selected in Europe for milk and beef production, and as work animals. The breed is highly adaptable and fitting for numerous breed programs. Little wonder, since it has been able to spread into all the other continents. Among other reasons, breeders love the Simmental bulls because of their high beef, longevity, and early maturity. The cows have excellent mothering traits and great milk yield. The Simmentals are simply good business. Number 16. South Devon South Devon, originating in the countries of Devon and Cornwall in southwest England, is the largest British cattle breed. It is also called South Hams. It used to be triple-purpose cattle bred for milk, meat, and draught. Since the 1970s, they are now selectively bred for beef production only. South Devon is known for its massive frame and muscular build. A bull from this breed weighs an average of 1144 kilograms with a height of 152 centimeters at the withers. South Devon bulls are a fast-growing breed, easily reaching maturity at 15 to 18 months of age. Although there are polled individuals, South Devons are primarily horn. Their horns could be yellow or white and tilt downwards. South Devons have very thick, loose and mellow sepal skin and a curly coat. They yield leaner carcasses than other British breeds. Their skin is shades of rich, medium red color with copper tints. Like the Simmentals, South Devons have an excellent temperament and are easy to handle. You can think of them as the gentle giants. Actually, that is what they're called. Number 15. Montbilliard. It is prominent for its strong udders and is used primarily for dairying. Its milk is especially useful for cheese production because of its high level of protein content. This breed is characterized by its ear-shaped horns on a white head that has a light muzzle. Montbilliard bulls weigh around 1,100 kilograms to 1,200 kilograms, standing 148 centimeters at withers. The Montbilliard is highly ranked because of its breeding traits and functional properties. If we are talking about a breed of bull that is excellent in terms of fertility, longevity, and crossbreeding ease, Montbilliard would make it to the top of the list. More so, they are exceptionally resilient and can adapt easily to all environments. Montbilliard bulls are unaffected by heat and the enormous amounts of rough forage they consume enable them to function in their hotter climates. When it comes to beefing qualities, its calves and young bulls are priced for their rapid growth rate and superb conformation. To crown it, Montbilliard bulls are docile so they can be easily managed. Number 14. CB Bagnari on your screen now is the largest of zebu humped cattle. They're also one of the few humped cattle that give complete white-colored animals. The CB Bagnari is found in Bog territory north of District, Jakobabad, and Balochistan province. It's also found in other parts of Pakistan, also in India. CB Bagnari is the farmer's companion as it is a draught-type breed. The mature males have a skin color that varies from white to gray, deepening to virtually black on the hump, neck, and shoulder. CB Bagnari has black switch tails, and their sheath has a little to medium hump on it. 
They have tiny and pointy ears and horns that are stumpy. CB Bagnari has little dewlap in contrast to the dropping dewlaps common with most breeds of zebu cattle. The bull's average weight at maturity is 600 kilograms, whereas a mature female would be about 480 kilograms. What makes the CB Bagnari well suited for heavy farm work though, is their typical compact and muscular physique. They have well proportioned limbs and a medium head with a short and strong neck. Their back is straight and their hindquarters are wide and muscular. The farmer's advantage, what CB Bagnari bulls lack in other aspects, they make up for with strength and resilience to extreme conditions. Number 13. Parthenace Bull Here's one of the oldest cattle breeds native to France. It dates far back to the beginning of the 19th century and since then has been widely exported. You can easily find one in the United Kingdom, Canada, United States, Ireland, and other countries. The Parthenace is just not a rare type. They got their name from the Parthenay town in the western region of France. The ancient town had been an important cattle market during the Middle Ages. Parthenay's bulls are huge animals. At maturity, an average bull weighs about 1150 to 1250 kilograms and stands at 145 centimeters tall. You might identify them by their golden brown colored coat and crescent shaped horns. Their eyes, muzzle, and legs have a lighter shade of color. Their nose, hooves, and tail, however, are all black. These strong and hardy animals were initially reared for meat and milk and well, sometimes for draught work. Now though, they're selectively bred for beef and they produce good lean meat. To the farmer's advantage, the Parthenase bulls have a strong immune system that resists the usual bovine diseases. Number 12, Angus. Angus sounds like it could be a befitting name for an angry bull. Well, let's see. Angus is an interesting one, almost iconic. It's the breed of choice in the American beef cattle industry. But this doesn't mean it originates there. These hardy breeds of cattle actually come from the northeastern part of Scotland where there is a temperate climate and grazing land is in abundance. The breed was just named after Angus. One of the counties from that area, it proliferated. It is called Aberdeen Angus in full. The Angus is naturally black and without horns. A new strain called Red Angus was however introduced in the middle of the 20th century. Except for differences in the color genes, the Red and Black Angus are genetically the same. Good luck telling that to the US where Red Angus is not accepted into the herd books though. In size, the Angus breed is considered medium. What is somewhat funny though is the disparity in size between the Angus bulls and their female counterparts. The cows weigh a meager 1200 pounds while fully grown bulls weigh 1900 pounds and above. Oh, yeah, meat from the Angus breed might just be the best tasting beef you'll ever get. They're mainstream in the beef market, especially because of their marbling appearance. Number 11. Chia Ninas. Look what we have here. An Italian breed that is not just the largest, but also one of the oldest purebred bovine breeds. A mature bull is capable of weighing over 3,500 pounds and stands a whopping 6 feet at the withers. Not sure how anyone is going to survive the disaster of a Chianina bull charging after them. On the ranch, Chianinas are large, trim, white cattle. They are uniform in depth and have a moderate dewlap and brisket. Their coat is short, smooth, and wider gray. Their skin, though, has black pigmentation. The tongue, palate, eye area, nose, and tails are all black. This pigmentation protects Chianinas from eye diseases. They also have small black horns that later turn white two years after birth. In the abattoir, though, you know a Chianina by its remarkably huge eye muscles. Since they're late maturing, they're very suitable for the production of old beef and yearling. The Chianina breed is simply unrivaled when it comes to its ability to produce lean meat. It yields red meat, clear of waste. Number 10. Maine Anjou Obviously, a French breed. The name pretty much gives that away. The Maine Anjou is native to the northeastern part of France, but it can now be found in other countries like Canada, America, Australia, the UK, and New Zealand. It was first called Durham Mansell after the two breeds of cattle it was crossbreed from. 
Its most recent name, though, is Rouge de Pre. The original stock had light red coats spotted with white on the head, near legs, belly, and tail. What you see today, though, are more solid colored ones. Their colors could be red or black, or black and white, which is the most popular choice. Maine Anjou bulls can be horned or polled. In terms of size, Maine Anjou is the largest French cattle breed. An average fully grown bull weighs about 2200 to 3100 pounds and stands about 170 centimeters at the withers. Aside from this large size, the easy fattening abilities of Maine Anjou bulls is another thing that makes them a priceless resource for many ranchers. In the abattoir too, beef from these breeds of cattle makes for good business. Number 9. Limousine Aha, I see this one bears the name of our favorite luxury car. But tell you what, none is named after the other. The fun fact is that both names are derived from a region in France called Limousine. Limousine bulls are a breed of beef cattle from that area. Well, until modern times, they were principally used as draught animals. The bulls are fine, large, and have a strong frame, describes a limo too, right? Mature males weigh up to 1,000 kilos. They are characterized by their short head and neck, broad forehead, broad and rounded chest, and gold red coat. The hair under their stomach, around their eyes, muzzle, anus, and tail tip is lighter in color. Their skin doesn't have any pigmentation. There's a strain with black genetics too. The calves of black limousine cattle are born brown and take on a deep black color afterward. A mature one would have a black coat entirely tinged with brown hairs. Limousine bulls are naturally horned, although crossbreeding yields pauled variants. If present, their horns are curved forward and slightly raised at the tip. Aside from its fancy name, something else about this bull catches a person's fancy, especially if the person is a chef or connoisseur. We're talking good, delicately marbled beef with the distinctive flavor. Its yield is as high as 74%, with meat that has just a little proportion of bone and fat. Cool catch. Number 8. Longhorn Longhorns, also called Texas Longhorns, are an American breed of beef cattle that is quite popular. First, they are remarkable for their extremely diversified coloring. You can find them in just about any color or mix of colors. From shades of red to variations of black, brown, cream, gray, blue, white, or even yellow. No kidding. They could either be solid colored, having a uniform color, or you could find them spotted with a mix of shades. The second thing about them is their unusually long horns that span more than 8 feet from tip to tip. It doesn't matter what hue you find them in, you just can't miss that horn. That's where their name comes from actually. Longhorns also have long legs that make it easier for them to walk long distances. This is well complemented by their thick hooves. Yet another long thing about longhorns is their life of up to 20 to 30 years. Generally, longhorns are medium-bodied, weighing around 1,400 to 2,200 pounds, and have a good length. Additionally, they have rounded body barrels and eat a wider range of grasses than most cattle. Longhorns are certainly not a regular breed. Number 7. Holstein Frisian For Americans, it's simply Holstein. In the UK and Ireland, though, it's called Frisian. Anyways, you recognize this one, don't you? They're quite popular for being the most widespread cattle breed all around the world. Even if not in real life, you must have them on coffee and milk packages. It goes without saying that the Holstein breed is renowned for milk production. They're in fact the world's highest producing dairy animals. This iconic breed of cattle originated in the Dutch provinces of North Holland and Friesland and Schleswig-Holstein in northern Germany. Holsteins are easily identified by the distinctive design of their coats. It could be black with white or red and white with spotty markings, which are clearly defined. There's also a blue colored strain of Holstein. The bluish tinge, also known as Blue Roan, results from a combination of white and black hair. One other thing that makes these breeds interesting is their size. A Holstein bull is averagely 6 feet tall and weighs over 2,500 pounds. Some members of these breeds are so massive that they look more fearsome than many animals you would find in the wild. The good thing is though that these breeds are genetically engineered by humans, so they're not as hostile and destructive as one would assume by their heftiness. You'd be surprised to find out how extremely welcoming and gentle these giants are. Number 6. Hereford 
This lineage of cattle was started in 1752 in Herefordshire, England with just two cows and one bull. But guess what now? Make that number 5 million pedigree Herefords and 50 nations. Millions of cattle on ranches and feedlots are from the Hereford lineage. The next time you see cattle in a grazing field, highway, or pasture, there is a chance that it has a Hereford blood somewhere. That is just how super prolific Hereford breeds are. To add to their legend, the Hereford cattle breed is placed as the first recognized English cattle. Before Hereford breeders started maximizing its beef yield, they were principally used as draught animals. To make out a Hereford, you would probably have to look out for the bull with a white face, crest, and underline with dark red or yellowish coloration. They would also usually have white flanks and marks below the knees and hocks. Where a horn is present, it is short, heavy, and curls down the sides of their heads. The Hereford breed is on the heavy side of the spectrum when it comes to cattle size. A fully grown bull weighs up to 1,800 pounds while females are around 1,200 pounds. Number 5. Gur Cattle This breed is native to the Gur Hills of Kathiawar in India and gets its name from the Gur Forests. They are famously used for their milk, although they are also used in crossbreeding activities. Though they are native to India, they are also popular in the US, Mexico, Venezuela, and Brazil. They have some distinctive qualities that you could use to point them out immediately. They appear in some variations of red and their skin is thin, soft, and glossy. They are big-headed with long faces. However, the convex forehead of this breed of cattle is the most unusual feature about them yet. It acts as a cooling radiator for both the brain and the pituitary gland. See how even the shape of a cattle's head protects it from excess heat? Wish it was the same for us humans. They are horned animals, although these horns do not grow the way we know them. They grow downwards and backward with an upward curve. Fun fact, these animals are friendly and love being with humans. In fact, they love being petted and scratched especially on their heads, like our home pets. They can survive harsh climates and are mostly bred to produce milk. Per lactation, they produce about 1,600 to 3,000 kilograms of milk. That is quite the weight. Number 4. Romanola it's pronounced Romanola with the G silent. The Romanola breed of cattle are primitive cattle whose ancestors are thought to be a wild ox, Bos primigenius potolicus, and to a larger extent, a bovine Bos primigenius nematicus, both found in northern Italy. With the bulls weighing up to 1,250 kilograms, this breed of cattle was first and foremost considered muscle animals. They were used for tilling the plains. It was a mechanization in agriculture that brought about its diversion from a draught animal to an animal raised only for beef. This meat is considered of high quality and even carries the registered mark of quality. A distinctive characteristic of these cattle lies in the shape of their horns. The bulls have half-moon shaped horns while those of the cows are lyre shaped. Their color, which ranges from ivory to gray with a tinge of black spots, help protect them from hot climates and during winter, their coat can grow to become very dense. They mature very early, which is a plus on their side. Hence, within a short period, you can have a lot of mature and fertile females ready to breed. Number 3. Asturian Valley Cattle This breed of cattle originated from the valleys of Asturias, Spain, and belongs to a bovine group known as Tronco Cantabrico. They are medium-sized cattle bred mainly for their meat and milk. They used to be the most abundant dairy cattle breed in the country, especially during the 19th century, however. Life happened, and other more productive foreign dairy cattle were introduced. This event led to a drastic reduction in their numbers. More recently though, they have started gaining popularity once again in the northern part of the country. The average weight of an Australian bulk is about 700 kilograms while the cows weigh about 600 kilograms. They are brown-coated animals, sometimes with white heads and brown eyes. Both males and females of this breed of cattle are horned and the horns are medium-sized and straight. Generally, the cattle are well adapted to their native habitat and can survive any climate condition there. However, they may not survive so well outside their native homes. Both the bulls and the cows have a good disposition and are not given to violence. Number 2. Charlize 
Charolais is a breed of cattle known for their white or cream coloring with pale pink noses and hooves, huge size, and horns. They're mostly bred for their meat and crossbreeding purposes. The Charolais has recently been considered one of France's oldest breeds of cattle going as far back as 878 AD. Although they are believed to be of Jurassic origin, not the Jurassic world, yeah, they were developed in the district around Charolles, France, a place where they get their breed name from. The bull of this breed weighs about 2,200 to 3,600 pounds, which places them as one of the heaviest cattle breeds. They can survive any kind of temperature and live up to 20 years. This ability coupled with the fact that they grow fast and robust despite harsh weather conditions gives them an edge over the breeds of cattle. Although they are commonly known for their white or cream coloring and horns, crossbreeding has led to hybrids that are hornless with a darker red coloration. Aside from being bred for their meat, they can also provide muscle for farm work. I mean, you don't just let about 3,600 pounds of muscle sit around on your farm. You've got to use what you have to get to what you need, you know? The Charolais bulls are a great help. Number 1. Merlore Pintado Previously known as Angole, the Nelore cattle breed dates back to over 2,000 years ago when the Aryan people brought their ancestors to India. The name change from Angole to Nelore happened in Brazil and it is said that the two names have similar meanings. These animals first came to Brazil when a ship carrying them that was headed to England stopped in Salvador, Bahia, where they were sold. Over time, Brazil increased the purchase and breeding of this breed of cattle that today. There are over 5 million registered purebreds of Nelore. Fascinating that there is a breeding line called Taj Mahal. The Nalori get their favorable adaptive characteristics from their ancestors who faced extreme weather conditions from drought to extreme cold and survived. The Nalori breed belongs to the Bos Indica species and is characterized by a hump above its shoulder and loose skin. There is a beautiful contrast to be found on the skin of the breed of this cattle and that it is black while the hairs on it are white. They also have long legs that can be used to wade in water while grazing and they are horned. Of all the members of the Bos Indica species, they are the ones with the smallest ears. With this much knowledge, I bet you feel equipped to start up a cattle ranch. Well, what new thing have you learned about bulls? And which of these huge breeds is common in your locality? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. Till next time, see ya.